after getting my surgery done. I don't really know the status of my leg. I can't like move my foot to a certain extent. I just want to see how far I can push it. I'm trying not to break it again. It was definitely necessary because I needed a big wake up call to slow the fuck down. You know, if I'm gonna have to live with this or eventually get this middle plating out. And it hurts. Rubs against my fucking metal plating. The worst thing ever. <laughs> Obviously, my muscles detrified. It's gonna take a lot of balance for me to continue skating. Very determined. Today we are going to make cargo soup with clams. I am pescatarian, so the plan is <laughs> blah 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 blah. Some wine, some soy sauce, Ooh, sesame oil. Um, chungirum, gochugaru. Experimentation, one of my favorite things to do while cooking. To make my food very spicy. Handful of clams. The new challenge, by the way, once this thing heats up, the fan's turning on, so be ready for that. The negative of ego is literally victimhood, self importance, and judgment. <laughs> Ego death. Ego is not just bad, it's also good. Self identity, self expression, self realization. Putting to death the idea that you can judge people. Putting to death the victimhood, victim mentality, the self importance. Comparing yourself to people and letting go of the people in my life. Constantly feeding into my ego, constantly being a victim and giving my power away to people that I felt powerless against. I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal. Constantly going through ego death with that. My journey, I've realized, no one is better than me and no one is worse than me. The way we live our lives cannot always align because it's how, you know? How the fuck? I'm in the process of grieving to let go of those people to let go of this mindset, like what actually, you know, what actually is important to me. I did try so hard to run away from situations I had to face eventually, and that, that is definitely something that I have done. I'm taking responsibility now because I finally have the strength to. It's divinely timed. I wasn't meant to face these people in the past because I was reacted. I was codependent. It was a normal place for me to be in. That fight or flight survival mode. There is no forcing yourself to go through these processes. There's a lot that we have to realize within ourselves and we are in no place to judge others. But we have to choose to make decisions for ourselves. Who are we allowing into our space? Whose energy, whose thoughts, whose words, whose actions Everything fucking matters. You have to choose a safe space to be all of you. It's not fucking easy. The confusion is just the unknown. I have to release control for the universe to not only divinely time, but for me to have space to understand it's hard. Take your time. Don't rush yourself. Inner child needs time to grieve. I wanted to have revenge on every living being just because other people were in pain when I was a child. And that is the process of life. To forgive, to be compassionate, to unconditionally love yourself, even though we are born into this conditioned world. I'm not better than anyone. The only person that I'm better than she doesn't exist anymore. It's in here and in here. Simultaneously, she's gone. I am 
really proud of myself and me telling someone I cannot continue this relationship anymore but I will continue to be courteous to you that took a lot of fucking strength it's not right away it's a process and I'm that's my intention to constantly change, to constantly release, to constantly evolve, to constantly step out of the matrix, take the time, be patient, allow myself to be within my emotions, but not identify, not attach, all of these things. Oh yeah, final product. I don't actually really like it, to be honest. Okay, taste-wise, 7.5. It's not really to my taste, my preference-wise. Oh, if you haven't watched Ranking of Kings, you need to watch it. It's so fucking good. It's so heartwarming. I was about to say Soul Eater. That's also a good anime. Solo leveling. You need to read. If you read manhwa, fucking read it, bro. It's so good. You're not fucking alone in this fucked up world. But that's the beauty of it. We're not alone. We just feel very fucking alone. Angels are here. The universe, our ancestors are watching us. And breaking generational traumas isn't looking back. <laughs> you don't have to plug into that anymore. You don't have to, but sometimes you may need to, to process yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. I'm reminding myself this too, every single day. We are conditioned, but we can uncondition. So we have that choice, we have that power. And if you were raised to believe that you didn't have the power to choose, I'm here to tell you, I understand. And take as much time as you need to reclaim that decision, that choice, that safety, literally safety. Know you are protected and safe right here as long as you choose to be, as long as you choose yourself every day. You will feel it, I promise you. You're doing so great. Let's keep fucking going.